Science. The state of the world's oceans is far worse than previously thought, according to a major new report. An expert panel of scientists from the International Programme on the State of the Ocean and the International Union for the Conservation of Nature claims we're facing a loss of species on the same scale as the great mass extinctions of prehistory. The problem is the cumulative effect of a series of individual stresses, climate change, acidification of the seawater, widespread pollution and overfishing. When these threats are added together, the ocean and the ecosystems within it are unable to recover. A UN report shows three quarters of all fish stocks are in distress and nearing depletion. About 95% of the deep sea catch comes from bottom trawl fishing, which is considered the most destructive to marine life. People are around the world, they can see when a, when, a, when a tropical forest is destroyed. They can understand, they can look at something, see there was a forest, now it's clear cut, and they can relate to it. But in the ocean, there's still people have this philosophical sort of, the oceans are endless. If you stand at the shore and look out, it looks endless, and it's always looked like that all our lives. So it's going to be fine. Oh, these people who talk about it, acidification and overfishing, they're just overreacting. But in reality, no. In fact, the oceans are in crisis and are in crisis as much as, and in fact probably more, than the land. All sea life is threatened, from large fish at one end of the scale to tiny organisms at the other. Some whole marine ecosystems, such as coral reefs, may be gone within a generation. Scientists admit the challenges are vast, but say unlike previous generations, at least we know what to do.